Welcome back to Metro Matters. I'm Mary Sitt. I'm here talking with Deborah Richard, Vice President of the Office of Small Business Development. Is that right? Yes. If somebody wants to do business with Metro and owns a small business, does that business actually deal directly with Metro or do you deal mainly with the big guys? We deal with both major companies as prime contractors and small businesses as prime contractors. However, because Metro does have a 35% um, small business contracting goal on most, uh, most contracts, those primes, whether they be a big business or a certified small business, have an obligation to utilize certified small businesses on their teams in order to accomplish the work that uh, Metro contracts with them for. So there is a good chance if you're some little business to actually do business with Metro by teaming up with a prime, is that right? Absolutely. That's one of the best things that a small business can do, especially if you have not reached the size or the level of experience that would allow you to prime the uh, contract yourself. What a small business needs to do in that regard is to get to know the major contractors, get to know the people who are potential primes. One thing I encourage small businesses to do is to go to the procurement website, which is also on, on Metro's website, mm -hmm. and register as a vendor. That will allow you to see all the solicitations that are coming out, all the, the services that Metro is um, putting out for contract. Mm -hmm. So once you see that, then I encourage you very, very strongly to attend the pre-bid conferences. That's where you meet the firms that are interested in becoming primes. And that's where you can talk to them about becoming a team member. So the pre-bid conferences are extremely important. When you go to the pre-bids, you need to be prepared to sell your business to the prime. And you need to make your pitch based on the prime's needs. Now, Deborah, Simply. Before you go, let me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Before you become, before you go to the pre-bid conference, you should already be a certified small business, right? We encourage that. Okay. If you're not, you're not prevented from attending the pre-bid conference. Uh, but if these things move fairly rapidly from uh -huh. advertisement through the solicitation and proposal process through award, so if you are truly interested in becoming a team member, you increase your value to a potential prime by, if you're not certified, at least being um, in the process of being certified. Having already submitted your application and supporting documentation, you can tell a prime, I'm not certified, but I should hear something within any, any day. Um, the small business office can generally certify a small business within 30 to 45 days after receiving all the required paperwork. So it doesn't take too long. It doesn't take a very long time at all. Let's talk about success stories. Can you give me some examples of uh, small businesses that have become successful? Sure. Uh, one example that comes to mind very quickly is uh, a firm known as Bradlink. Brad Link started doing work with Metro, I think, somewhere around 2004, 2005. Uh, she had some small subcontracts, and since that time, the firm has grown and progressed, and uh, actually, they have uh, secured a very high-dollar subcontract on one of our contracts. So how does she do that? I think she did it by being prepared, mm -hmm. by performing satisfactorily, uh, one of the things I believe the owner will tell you is that she has spent a great deal of time researching the kind of work that needs to be done at Metro, preparing her firm to do that kind of work, and making herself known to the major contractors that perform the kind of work that Metro requires. This is Helen. This is Helen Callier. Helen Callier. She's the owner of Bradlink. I see her around at Metro all the time. You know, people think she works here <laughs> because she's here all the time. Well, and good. she actually does have some people yeah. that are working on site under mm -hmm. one of her subcontracts here. So she was telling me earlier, because I interviewed her for the blog, that one of the things she does is use the services, ride the bus, ride the train, get to know what Metro produces, Exactly, the exactly. She's very, very familiar with uh, Metro's products. She's very familiar with our needs. And that can always go a long way in selling a person or a firm uh, in doing business with a public agency such as Metro. Deborah, what's the one tip you would give a small business who wants to do business with Metro? I think it's very important for a small business to build relationships with the companies that serve as prime contractors on Metro work. And the best way to do that is to join industry groups, join industry organizations, and get to know these companies before the business opportunity presents itself. 
Very good. Thank you so much for being with us, Deborah. Thank you for having me, Mary. That's all for this edition of Metro Matters. Until next time, follow us on the blog at ridemetro.org, fan us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. I'm Mary Sitt. Thanks for joining us.